Good morning, everybody. It's Meg from Books Off the Beaten Path, and it's time yet again for early morning book review. And this morning, we will be reviewing, we will be reviewing <laughs> Jean Craig Grows Up. What a disappointment this was. Um, this is about a family whose father has come back from World War II and he has had a nervous breakdown. And so he's very kind of out of it most of the time. But he confesses to his cousin, who is as close as his own sister, even though he doesn't have a sister, he confesses to his cousin that they can no longer afford to live in the fancy house that they're living in. So they have to go live in this farmhouse that she finds for them. She is kind of a homesteader. And so the cousin finds a farmhouse that they can live in and um, to reduce expenses while he gets well because he can't work for a while because he's had this nervous, this nervous breakdown. So anyway, the title is Jean Craig Grows Up. I didn't see any evidence of that whatsoever. I mean, she was a fine young woman to begin with. She's the eldest of, let's see, there's Jean, Kit, Doris, and Tommy. So she's the eldest of four. And like I said, she's a fine young woman, but there's no significant growing up scene. There's no significant conflict. You know, we hear that dad has a nervous breakdown and then we don't hear anything about him for a long time. Um, I tell you one thing that I thought was interesting was that towards the end of the book, they have the actual land owner. See, there's, they're renting this piece of land. So they have the actual land owner, who is a war veteran himself, come in and he's much younger than the father and everything like that. But they talk for long periods of time on the porch and that seems to help dad quite a bit. So thumbs up for talk therapy. They didn't even know what that was in the 40s, I guess, but it seems to have worked for the dad. But anyway, so there's no significant conflict in it anywhere. I thought they would have trouble adjusting to the farm. They love the farm. They start raising chickens. They make friends. It's it's a delightful book, but there's no conflict in it whatsoever. There's no moment when you're like, okay, I see the evolution of this young woman. I see the character arc. None of that. It's just Jean Craig. It really should be titled Jean Craig in the country because that's all it is. I don't see how she grows up at all. There's no conflict in it. Okay, so putting that aside, I gave it three stars on Goodreads. Now I've got a dilemma. I've got two books from the library. Hold them up here. And I can't decide which one to read next. Now normally what I do is I read the first chapter of a new book and I decide which one really has gotten me and they're both super entertaining. And so I don't know which one to read next. And maybe you can leave me in the comments what you think. The first one is The Trial of Lizzie Borden. And I am a true crime nut. I really am. And so I never read anything this extensive about Lizzie Borden. And I mean, it's just fascinating. And the, the first chapter had me just, oh, I covered my whole face with that, didn't I? Whoops. Um, the first chapter had me just riveted. It's a nonfiction book. I haven't read nonfiction in a long time, but it's reading like fiction. It's just, it's just really, really good. So I've got The Trial of Lizzie Borden. And then I've got The Hacienda, which has gotten some great reviews. And I just love it. It's supposedly like Rebecca, but more horrifying. And you have sold me on that because Rebecca is one of my all-time favorite books. And in this one, we follow Beatrix. And Beatrix is going to La Hacienda and has a name. Well, anyway, I don't know what the name of La Hacienda is but she marries Don Rudolfo and there's something mysterious that's happened with his first wife. And in the first chapter, she goes to the Hacienda and we had the foreboding of the dead rat blocking her entrance to going inside the Hacienda, but it's not just a dead rat. I mean, it is described in complete detail with like its brain strewn out and everything like that. So it's pretty horrific, this dead rat. 
And I'm just, I'm riveted by that one too. And I cannot decide which one to read next. And I can't read two books a time. I can't do it. I'm just not that smart. So if you, if you guys have read either one of these, or if you have any suggestions for me on how to decide, please let me know. Um, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and give me a like. It really does help my channel. And I want to thank all of you guys for hanging in there with me. And I will check you later.